we did. Oh. We all did a fair bit of uh, go on. No, no, it's okay. You can go. I was just gonna say we all did a fair bit of combat training, like sword yeah. fighting and stuff. Yeah. It was. It yeah. was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was. Yeah. What were you gonna say? Um. I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, I feel Sorry. like no, it's okay. I just I think um, but they made it fun though. You know, it, yeah. it wasn't like mm -hmm. also on that first day though when we went to go like meet them. They were like, hey guys, you know I like you know go grab your thing and so they actually let um they let me keep one of their practice swords actually. Mm -hmm. It was so mm -hmm. cool. I still have it actually. That's so crazy. They they let me write my name on it and stuff. Um, but. Basically, that that was gonna be our swords that we use for the rest of the like pr practice training time and stuff. Um, and when we first got in on that first day, it wasn't like so you know just you know don't flip it, don't run with it, don't do this. It wasn't any of that. It was like all right, grab your swords. We're gonna teach you how to do this. They made us run in a circle. They made us do like these jumping jacks in a circle. But it wasn't just standing there. They made us do it while like running yeah, so yeah we did jumping up. jacks for like moving sideways and stuff and everything they had to do all these cool warm-ups and then as a reward we played ping pong after so <laughs> that was good well well we were involved in everything um all of the writing of the scripts that had to happen first um we were in the writer's room uh, i was writing uh, helping to write the scripts or giving notes on the yeah, scripts lots of notes Lots of notes, sure. Once the scripts were done, we were involved in the casting. Once that was done, we were involved in, in the shooting of the film. We were on uh, the, the TV series. We were on set every day, uh, most of the time, uh, watching over things and making sure everything looked great. Um, like, so, Like if the costumes, if Tish had a question about costumes, mm -hmm. or if they had a qu co you know, question about what riptide should look like, mm -hmm. or they had a question about, um, uh, uh, you know, what the big house in episode two should look like, mm -hmm. you know, we were, we were always yeah. there for them to help answer those questions. I have never said this actually. There's one thing, um, it was on my birthday, when mm -hmm. um, it was, was like day. a surprise out of nowhere it was. Um, it was hot. It was uh, it in was September, hot. obviously, it was the month of my birthday. Um, and I just didn't, I mean like, I expected, okay, hold on, that sounds weird. But like, I didn't expect to get anything, not, not like in like a, a, a bad way, like, oh, I didn't expect anything, but like, I just, I, it was, it was unexpected to just get something like what I got. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. especially for Mr. Rick and Mr. Dan and Mr. John and things like just yeah. that crazy. He, uh, Mr. Rick handed me this box and it was like, it's from, you know, it's from us, like the people that I just said. And I was like, um, okay, great. I opened up the box. It's a Nike box. And I'm like, oh, what the heck? <laughs> I opened up the box and it was these like blue jean, like Jordans. And I was just so amazed. Like it was it was such a remember, a remember, remember, you remember, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, I can't say it. You know, you, you know what I mean? Uh, but like, yeah, yeah. It was a, a very <laughs> memorable thing. Um, but I, I feel like, for example, like I just, I couldn't get out of my head and like how much they really cared for me and what they gave to me, like mm -hmm. something that I would wear all the time. So now I do mm -hmm. wear it all the time, but that was a rememberable thing. <laughs> Most of the uh, filming was done in Vancouver, in Canada, um, but the the range of locations and range of sets that they constructed, uh, it, so many different locations. Um, we, some were done virtually with the volume, uh, the L LED screen, uh, which is an incredible piece of technology. And we did some crazy things, you know, of LEDs and water. That does not mix very well, but yeah. um, ILM was um, brave and they learned a lot. We learned a mm -hmm. lot. <laughs> we did yeah. blue screen. Oh, we did we green did screen. Everything. We did on yeah. set locations, downtown Vancouver becomes New York City, for example. That mm -hmm. was exciting. Yeah. Um, the woods in um, British Columbia become Camp Half Blood in Long Island. Mm -hmm. um, just beautiful, beautiful. The, the show was shot entirely in Vancouver, um, in British Columbia. Um, it was um, uh, both on a, um, on a stage, um, uh, partially on the, um, the volume stage um, in partnership with ILM. 
um, and on location um, in and around Vancouver. Um, it's, um, you know, I think the, the, the hope was that in any environment, you feel like you're there. Um, whether that's on 6th Avenue in New York um, or in the underworld, um, that somehow we had to figure out a way to make sure that everything felt um, uh, real. And so um, I, I think that was, uh, that was, that was the trick for, for all of these scenes. I think the ones, um, some of the ones that, are, uh, that feel most invisible are the ones I'm most proud of um, because we were never in New York. Um, and there's, there's, um, there's, there's quite a few of those where I feel like the, um, the, the less you notice how much effort went into making those places feel real, the better. Oh, I was just gonna say, um, if I had to be specific about one, maybe that like, we, we, where we did the camp. Um, it was it was nestled in these amazing woods with these massive trees, and the one the, the reason I knew we were in the right spot is um, on our first day of shooting out at the camp where all the cabins are. Uh, these two owls showed up, like they didn't even know they had owls in this part of, of 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 the region, and these two owls showed up and just sat in these trees and watched us all day. Um, and we just knew there is something very right about where we, where we chose to have this camp. Definitely. We talked to him a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we asked him a lot of questions, but he's super nice and very humble that like he didn't even like care. Well, I mean, no, wait. He cared, <laughs> but like, like he cared obviously, but like, like he just, he like, we, he didn't, Huh? Wait, he didn't <laughs> mind. Sorry, he, he didn't mind like yeah. that. We were asking the questions and stuff. He actually loved answering them a lot. Mm -hmm. We asked him a lot of questions. <laughs> we did, and I kind of feel bad that I didn't ask more. Like, like, how do I? Like, I I just kept asking. Me and Arian would just like <laughs> every single day, just like bombard him with Aries fight questions because that's we were so excited for that like final Aries fight mm -hmm. that we were like obsessed with it asking like any new details about the episode because it hadn't been written yet um yeah Ooh, this is really good question great question thank you so much thank you thanks fantastic question <laughs> huh <laughs> Sorry, I just want to like give a good answer. I mean, I think I just like the fact that it's so rooted in real life. Exactly, like it's, yeah. it's real lessons that you should learn in, in real life. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably my favorite part. Yeah. Our acting coach would always tell us that the reason that these books were so loved uh, was because you know Greek myths are all like universal truths. Mm -hmm. So like a, like any story like uh, like Icarus and Daedalus, like you know your hubris, your your arrogance, like you get to you get to fatal sickle. flaw. Yeah, your fatal flaw. They all like teach you something about yourself on maybe a larger scale in the stories, but they still teach you something about yourself nonetheless. My name is Percy Jackson. Am I a troubled kid? Yeah, you could say that. Bad grades, bullies, all the normal stuff. And then there's some stuff that's maybe not so normal. Oh, you saw something. Something that no one else could see. The stories that I have told you about great gods and half-bloods, they are real. Mrs. Jackson, things have changed. This is all developing a lot faster than we anticipated. Over, why is there half a goat in your pants? So the important thing is not to panic. Percy Jackson. We've been expecting you. The master bolt has been stolen. That is your quest. Remember what I taught you. You're gonna need to be brave now. Percy! 